Let's make a song like Yeet. Noah Smith, aka the dude that always has a scarf on his head, is a 21-year-old artist that goes by the name of Yeet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Noah has been making music for almost three years now, but is finally starting to grab that name for himself with his new biggest song called Sorry About That. Sorry about that. Yeet has a sound that I would describe as the new SoundCloud era, with beats that seem to be inspired from that new Playboy Cardi sound, and he's really starting to emerge from that underground scene. Recently, he's been working with other underground artists like Can Can, Summers, and some producers from Internet Money like Rio Leva. Yeet has a unique style, kind of like Playboy Cardi, where he's not too lyrical, but he uses his voice more of an instrument in order to create a better vibe on the song. So much stage to like so much queen I think it's only up from here with Yeet with his unique style and his music video production being really high. So for this beat, I went for something like his new song, Sorry About That. And at first you might not notice the similarity, but believe me, once we hear the vocals later, you'll get the idea. I noticed that Yeet's sound kind of fits in that Rage style of beat, something like you'd hear off Cardi's new album, Whole Lot of Red. And that's why I use this plugin called Surge, which is actually free. And this plugin was actually used a lot on Whole Lot of Red. For the first sound, we used a preset from the category polysynths called Jupiter 8. And then for the processing, all I did was add a little bit of halftime just to fill out some of that low end. This first EQ just to shape the sound a little bit how I like it. Then we used an effect rack. I used Decapitator and Microshift Decapitator just to distort it a little bit. The Microshift just to widen the sound. And another EQ to shape it. And finally, this EQ to pull out some of that low end. And this is the sound we got. And then for the second sound, I used Surge again. I used this lead called Fairy. And for the processing on this one, all we did was an effect rack with the Decapitator just to distort that sound a little bit more. We have some Valhalla Vintage Verb just to fill out that sound a little bit. And then an EQ just to pull out that low end. And I just clicked in this melody. And since it's a lead, it sounds pretty damn cool. Check it out. And then for the last actual melodic part, it's Surge again, and it's just a sequence called Distorted Glassy Sequence. And it's kind of just like an accented sound, and all we did was add this plugin called Delay Eternity, which just adds a little bit of delay in the background. And then another Valhalla Vintage Reverb just has these settings right here, fill out that sound a little bit more. And this is what it sounds like. And then we move on to the drums, which I used my drum kit called Full Circle. It will be available at Quintababa.com in the top of the description below or the pinned comment. And basically all we did was kept it super simple. There's a super simple normal clap pattern and it's layered with a snare. Then we have this hi-hat that I notice a lot in the Yeats beats where it's just three hi-hats and it just keeps repeating. Then we have a little accent snare and this is what that sounds like. And something I noticed that's pretty cool about Yeats beats is the 808. And what I did is I used this 808 from my drum kit called Death Race. And basically what I did is in the envelope settings, I pulled the release all the way down, put the hold all the way up, and I put this attack up just a tad bit. And this to take that initial kick out. So the 808 just sounds like this now. So it just sounds like this, this bass that could just hold for a long time. And if you solo it out, this is the pattern I made. All I did was follow the root note of the melody we made earlier. It sounds like this. And I actually did no processing to the 808. All I did was pull the sound down a little bit because it was a little loud. But that's it for the drums. And now when we play everything together, we have the finished beat. And then for the arrangement, super simple as well. We basically have this pattern right here and then this pattern right here. And we just repeat that over for about 98 bars, which came out to two minutes and 40 seconds. And as you can tell, there's really no changes in it. The only difference is for the first eight bars, we have that lead in there. And then after that, we take out the eight bars of that lead. And we just repeat that over a few times. All right, so now for the vocals. So I brought the beat into Pro Tools and I used my volume two mixing template, which is also available at quintababa.com. I have a link in the bio available for that as well. But for this song, I was trying to emulate the flow and the sound of Sorry About That. As far as the lyrical content, I didn't really try and replicate that too well. But a few things I did pay attention to is, as I previously mentioned before, he kind of uses his voice as an instrument and most of his lyrics, especially in the chorus, are very repetitive. And when it comes to his verses, I notice it raps about drugs and girls and just some of the stuff like that. Obviously, I'm missing some things, but, but that's what I noticed right off the bat. If you guys want to hear what this vocal template sounds like live, this is basically what it sounds like. Let me just activate everything. So yeah, now we have the reverb, the auto-tune, and everything enabled. And yeah, if I start singing like, oh yeah, you get some pretty cool effects. 
So you might want to check this template out if you're that type of vocal person. But anyways, this is how the song turned out. I hope you guys like it. Forgot about it. Yeah, forgot about 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 it. I'm on this guy with these drugs and I feel it. She said that she wants some more and I gave her some more with some backstroke on top of it. We don't keep peace of that boy talking shit that you know that I gotta go bury him. Taking these drugs and I feel like I'm out of my mind. Blow me some bands on the AP, I can't tell the time. Forgot about it. Yeah, forgot about it. Alright guys, so that's it for the video. If you did enjoy this, hit that like button. And you might as well subscribe when you're down there, just so you guys can come back for some more content like this. You guys should already know where to go for any of the sounds that I use in this video, quintababa.com. Also, follow me on Instagram. That's the best spot to stay up to date with what I'm doing day to day. Also, if you guys like the style of this video, I switched it up a little bit. But if you did like it, leave a comment and let me know what you liked about it. And let me know if you guys want me to keep doing them like this. And honestly, if you have any video ideas, just let me know. Leave a comment below and I'll try and do that. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you learned a little something about Yeep. I hope you guys learned how to make a beat like Yeep, how to sound like Yeep, all that stuff in between. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces. Forgot about it. Yeah, forgot about it. 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 I'm on this guy with these drugs and I feel it. She said that she wants some more and I gave her some more with some backstrokes on top of it. We don't keep peace of that boy talking shit that you know that I gotta go bury him. Taking these drugs and I feel like I'm out of my mind. Blow me some bands on the AP, I can't tell the time. Forgot about that. Yeah, forgot about that. Forgot about that. Yeah, forgot about that. Forgot about that. Yeah, forgot about that. Forgot about that. Yeah, forgot about that.